Point Weather 12 forecast. We're getting reports that the uh, northern lights are showing up in some areas again tonight. You're going to look low in the northern horizon and a dark rural area away from artificial lighting. It's not one of those consistent things where it's constantly showing up. It fades away. It comes back and not all the areas have cleared up, but it will clear uh, this evening and during the overnight. So kind of a partly cloudy, clear sky in Providence right now. Temperatures that are settling back into the 50s after some of the heavier downpours and even some thunderstorms this morning, but drier air continues to filter in this evening and overnight. We're setting up for a very quiet week ahead. Good deal of sunshine, not much in the way of rain, though trending a lot cooler. All eyes on powerful Hurricane Milton, and we'll talk about that storm in just a second. The last of some leftover showers on the Cape will be pulling away. Here's the wider view. The front responsible for some of the rain and thunder today continues to push off to the east. Behind it, drier air and clearing skies. That'll continue to work in this evening and during the overnight, and we wake up to sunshine tomorrow morning. All right, this is Milton, a historic storm in, in terms of intensity. It's now the fourth strongest storm on record in terms of central pressure, barometric pressure within the eye of the storm, which is right in here. So it looks like the eye may have disappeared a little bit. Sometimes the eye goes through what's called an eye wall replacement where the storms get so intense, the eye collapses temporarily and then it reforms once again. Sustained winds at 180 miles per hour. The pressure still dropping and here's the west coast of Florida and Tampa. We take a look at the forecast track. Now this these colors of yellow and orange represent the wind field. The yellow is tropical storm force. The orange is hurricane force and the red are winds over well over 100 miles per hour. Category five tomorrow night approaching Florida West Coast and Tampa Wednesday evening, Wednesday night as a category four powerful hurricane. It crosses the peninsula as a hurricane. It goes on the other side onto the east coast side of Florida early on Thursday morning, still as a hurricane, and then it continues to race out to sea by Friday and on into Saturday. I want to show you the rainfall accumulation along the path of the storm. No surprise, excessive rains on the order of eight to 12 inches, but I point this out because Asheville, North Carolina, Western North Carolina is up in here. Obviously historic, de devastating flooding. Uh, looks like Milton's heavy rain is going to stay south of the Carolinas, but we'll watch it very closely. Storm surge, without a doubt, the most dangerous part of a landfalling hurricane of 10 to 15 feet of water being pushed uh, along the west coast of Florida, anywhere from Palm Harbor to Venice. Where exactly the eye tracks will dictate how much water gets flooded into Tampa Bay. Uh, not just the surge, but destructive winds and a lot of rain. This is a very serious situation for Florida. All right, closer to home, fortunately, it is a lot quieter. A chilly start early at 7 a.m. Sunshine, 11 o'clock in the morning. Temperature at 60. Kids heading out to school in the morning. A little heavier jacket, but it does warm up nicely in the afternoon. Warm, meaning we get up into the upper 60s, which is where we should be for this time of year. Bay forecast, northwest breeze at light speeds at 5 to 10. All right, so we're clearing overnight. Tomorrow looking good, just cool and dry with some sunshine. The rest of the week features sunny, dry, cool weather. The late nights, especially the next couple of nights, will be rather chilly. The afternoons are in the 60s. Temperatures do moderate to a 71 by Saturday uh, with some sunshine. We'll keep tracking Milton. New update coming in from the Hurricane Center very shortly. A lot of people here have friends and relatives that live in Florida. Looks pretty extreme, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, Tony, thank you. Coming up next.